My name is Heath Potter and I am a shoe cobbler. Today we are doing a restoration on a pair of Ferragamo loafers that have a value of around $700. The customer wore all the way through the insoles and so you have to replace the actual internal portion of the shoe. Once we got the heel block off, you can see it's got numerous nails. Once we clip those off, we can push those nails out. And after that, we've got to move on to removing the actual sole of the shoe. Now you can see that it does have a welt that is glued onto the sole, but we have to split the seam and break that seal where the glue is holding it on. Breaking that seal goes all the way around and then we can remove the sole. Now that I've got the sole off, you can see that giant hole that goes all the way through the outsole and all the way through the insole. So yes, his sock is actually touching the pavement here. He can't wear this as it is. Even if I put another sole on, he's gonna feel that bump um, because it's just, it's warped. So the whole guts of this shoe, the insole, it's gotta be replaced. And we're gonna replace that with just straight vegetable tan leather. Now you can see I've removed the insole and the upper loses its shape. And he's got a little bit of cushion uh, under, uh, like foam underneath the insole. When you pull these out, they often get ripped and that's exactly what happened here. We're gonna replace those two. And I've got an extra piece of pour on, it's, it's like a memory foam, and I can cut a little piece of that off, replace it, and it'll just help the customer have that little bit of spring, a little bit of cushion when he's walking. Now that we've got that all put together, it's ready to actually attack the outsole. And in this case, we're using a piece of German pit tan. It's weatherproof and it, it's very long lasting. Now that I've got it traced, you can actually see where I've marked off of the heel. That's gonna give me a guideline for where I need to mark the heel. All right, so we've glued, we've stuck. And now I've got it on the press. It's just gonna help that glue to get a, a better seal and help it to shape to the shoe and kind of create that arch a little bit underneath where his arch would be. I'm using a pair of compass just to go around and mark where I want my stitch line to be. Now this is where you gotta have a really sharp knife. You wanna just basically go through and follow that line and score the leather. You don't wanna cut too deep because if you do cut too deep, you'll cut all the way through the sole and then you have to start all over.
So this is a leather creature that we're running over the stitches. And basically what it does is just to get those stitches to lay down flat. Now we're over at the sanding machine and we will take this through at least three different grids of sandpaper to remove the large chunks. Now that it's smooth, we can actually go through and paint the bottom with dyes, just kind of going with a medium brown and, and, and you can kind of have some highlights and lowlights. It's, it's a lot of fun just to play with the colors on the bottom of shoes.